Welcome, welcome. It's been a while. Almost two weeks. It's time to get back in here and start doing uh, some Cardinals franchise. Get us a World Series win, hopefully, this season. As you can see right there, we uh, the second best team, considering all of our categories there. So we are ready to go for this season and go over some uh, what we're looking at here. From Valdez, Tanner Bybee, Andrew Painter, won Rookie of the Year last year, Walker Buehler. And then our newest rookie, Chris Cutliffe, who uh, was our first first-round pick of the series. He jumped over Tink Hentz. Uh, Tink should be up pitching for us. If there's an injury this year, Tink will come up and pitch. Uh, Bueller has one more year after this, so if he regresses too much, we can ship him off and bring up Tent Tink and uh, replace him. So I'm I'm thinking we're going to have Painter, Cutliff, and Hens in our bottom three after this year. <coughs> uh, relievers, we did trade. It's our only major trade of the offseason was for Yuki Matsui. So we have two stud lefties. Wanted to help our. Uh, Late inning guys, we got a bunch of guys that can throw gas. We still have Jordan Romano, so if Romano takes a step back, we have Matsui and Romero that can close. Uh, Contreras and Davis are almost even now, so they'll both get some playing time this year. Naylor's still at first, Gorman and Gifo. And Sejaci, we're going to bring up Sejaci. He's going to be, uh, he's going to uh, play against lefties in place of Arenado. What's up, Specta? Welcome, welcome. Um, Arnado's regressing, and he's uh, his contact against lefties is terrible. So we'll give him a few extra days off. And so JC can also play second base. I think he can play shortstop and first. So he's he's a good utility guy. And, and Gifo, even though he's got excellent contact against lefties, he can play a ton of positions. Um, He's more of a left, especially against left-handed pitching. Subspecta, doing good, man. Been, been busy with other stuff, been sick for a week. So, trying to get back into a little bit of a swing here. Been on uh, redoing the resume and look for a full-time job. So, been busy, busy. Uh, Win is up to a 91 at shortstop. I don't know why he's regressing already at 25. Um, Jordan Walker is killing it. You can see back-to-back -back years of 36 home runs, 100-plus RBI. He's uh, developed into the guy that we were hoping for. And uh, good there. Donovan doing his normal thing. Guy hit 25 bombs last year, so he's a good bat at the top of the order. Edmonds, our center fielder. We're bringing up Victor Scott to be a backup. He's got decent contact, no power, um, great speed and defense, so he'll be a situational player. He's 26, so he needs to be up playing. And then we got Lars in right field, who is regressing just a touch. Uh, this is our first-round pick from last draft, the one that the game took away from us during the signing period. Um, so we recreated him based off all of his... Uh, his numbers I had to go back and look at what he scouted at as and what he looked like when we drafted him. And that's what he has for his ratings. So he'll spend a couple of years in the minors at least. So anyway, that's where we are there. You can see won 90 games the first year, won the division, lost in the DL and LDS, won 101 games, lost in the NLDS. 102 games, lost in the NLCS. So progressively getting better, but we need to uh, step it up in the playoffs, man. I have to play better in the playoffs. So um, transactions. We signed Homer Bush to fill in our minor leagues a little bit. Um, we traded Michael Tolia to the Diamondbacks for a third baseman, so we have an extra. We shifted from a first base guy to third, just an organizational depth piece. So, um, Top prospects, we traded for the number one prospect, this dude. 
he, it's because he's on A. He's a 64. Can't field where the shit. Doesn't have a ton of power, but he'll hit the ball all over the place. <clears throat> so, and we have another guy like that too. This Esteban Carrera. Cabrera. Not much power. Great bat. Great contact vision. Clutch. Not great defense. So, it is what it is. But anyway, that's where we stand. And we're going to get in and get playing. Um, we always play opening day. So, we are going to uh, play this game with Fromber, and then we're going to skip ahead. Where is it? To this game right here, this home game against Cleveland. We're going to pitch. We're going to player lock with Chris Cutliffe for his Major League debut. And we got a busy, we only got three days off the whole first month and a half or month and a week. So, we'll get a bunch of player locks in here. Um, I don't know if we'll have another full game at the end of the month or not against the Cubs or the Brewers, but um, we'll we'll get this whole month progressed. So let's get in here and get going. Quit talking. So Robert Valdez. Hold on, let me check my scouts real quick. Four ninety eight, ninety eight, ninety eight, ninety eight. All right, we didn't lose anybody. Sometimes your scouts. Will retire in the off season, and if you don't check him, you end up with somebody that's got fifty discovery instead of ninety eight, or somebody with uh, ninety, you know, seventy five efficiency instead of ninety five. Right. Still fighting this head cold, so excuse me if I cough and snort and carry on today. I really don't like those uniforms. Let's make them wear their city connect. We'll just wear a grays and Valdez. I got a lefty, so um, yeah, we want to move. He's okay. He's okay. They are not as we thought. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, here we go. Let's go. Spectre, you get that game scheduled yet, so we can move on. <clears throat> Got two games to schedule. I got one game left to play before the bowl game. I can't play that until we get advanced. Yeah, to get both of those bad boys scheduled. And I think you're done for the season after that, the regular season. Play your bowl game. Shoot him a note, man. He's he's around enough to he'll check his messages. All right, here we go. Washington with their. What are you looking for from him? Hold on. I don't want to listen to these guys. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's under presentation. Commentary. I'll turn that way down. All right. I don't mind them in the background to kind of take away some of the dead air, but I don't want to listen to them blasting in my ear. Expected <laughs> we got to kill time. We got less than. I'm sorry, less than three weeks, about two and a half weeks before that new game comes out, new football game. Ooh, did he get all of that? Is that going to get to the track, to the wall? Nope, to the track, but not the wall. About two and a half weeks, man. I am so done with twenty with the uh, NCAA 14 right now. Be glad to uh, move on to something else. Like, unless, like we've been saying forever, unless it's ass, and then we got to go back to 14 because... It plays terrible, but hopefully that's not the case. <clears throat> I'm tired of all the fluff releases to show us some fucking gameplay and some dynasty info. Some people are all into the presentation and good for you, but I, I just want to see the gameplay. It's, if it doesn't play well, all the rest of that stuff is irrelevant. Two 
they're not building enough uh, excitement because people are, they don't have anything to get excited over. Listed to the left field for a base hit, get our first base runner of the season. Naylor has been a great acquisition in that Goldschmidt trade. That was awesome. Yeah, I know. Just give me gameplay and dynasty deep dive. That's all I want. No one's talking about Madden, and no one is going to talk about Madden because Madden sucks. <laughs> there we go. Even though they gave us team builder for both games, man, gameplay still gonna suck, man. All right, Rangifo with his 99 contact against lefties. That's why we have him hitting here. Oh, I was not patient at all. <clears throat> I just played a game of Diamond Dynasty before. Jumped in here, too. All right, Frommer did his job, man. 18 games, won 18 games in his first year with the team. Got to be happy with that. He had his ups and downs. He had moments where he was dominant. And other, he was just getting hit all over the place, so he averaged out pretty well. Go Nolan. And there's no one here on, on Twitch today. Not a soul. All right, we'll take that. Throw the ball. Simple ground ball, and he can't field it. Defense in this game is terrible. But it's only terrible for the user, not for the CPU. CPU, their ratings don't matter because they're all gold gloves. Got him. There we go. One, two, three. Why is he wearing 60? Valdez doesn't wear 60. What number does he wear? I got to fix that. That's going to drive me insane. Does he really wear number 60? Where's 59? So who's got 59 that would push him... We'll have to fix that after the game. Ooh, nasty yes slider. There we go. Get down in the corner. That's a double. Dig, 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 dig. Let's go. Safe. There we go. Barely got in. This pitcher, Crochet, does not have the greatest durability, or his stamina, I mean. So he's not going to go deep in the games. He gets about 80 pitches and he's done. So the more we can make him work early, the quicker we'll get him out of this game. Come on, Mason, you were a stud last year. Yeah, that's not deep enough. <laughs> Wasn't a great throw, but Contreras is slow. All right, let's be patient and get a good pitch to drive. Well, if he wants to give us that, We can throw it in. Get a man in scoring position and can't get him in. All right, Nolan. I know you don't have the greatest batting average against the lefty, or at least contact rating against lefties, but you do have good 
good clutch. Clutch is better than your normal contact rating, so let's go. This will be your last season with us. And that should be... Nope, line drive right out. I thought that was more in the gap. That was straight at the left fielder. Yeah. Get men on, just can't get them in. This guy usually develops ridiculously well in this game. That 60 on Valdez's back is going to drive me insane the whole game. Get that off the ground. <laughs> yeah, I had to get that over the middle of the plate because oh, come on. Why is Donovan playing left, right field? Hold on. Put the 99 arm in right field. <clears throat> Get that. this guy power hitting first baseman 27 never heard of him a rookie at 27 really? first yeah I guess he is a rookie has no major league stats so he didn't toil away in the minors forever streaming so long expected that all the uh, witch bots aren't even in here watching I usually have five or six twitch bots in here and they don't even count as views his shoes yeah usually there's oh my draft snat and all kinds of other weird ass names that are sitting in here we're struggling this half inning one run allowed this lineup is not difficult I have to pitch better we need timely hitting because we've had men in scoring position each of the first two innings and didn't get them home
Donovan and Newt Bar getting to the point where they're going to be free agents soon. They're both pushing 30. So they're going to start regressing in the next couple of years. So i got to decide if we're going to uh, keep them and wait it out for our prospects. Or if we're going to ship them off after the season's over and get some younger guy in that can play every day. Or at least somebody that's like 27 that can play a couple years while the guys in the minors cook for a little bit longer. Even when the uh, new football game comes out, the college football game, we will continue to uh, play MLB. We'll just slow down. There we go. Missed it. Thank you. Good pitch. All right. I don't know half the names of this lineup. Trying to set up that change up, and I totally missed my spot. So, there you go. Now we come back with a hot cutter. Got him. Tried to get him on the change up, but I missed my spot. The cutter is wonderful on inside on right handed batters. Yeah, way out in front. Nassim Nunez. Here's another dude. 26 years old. He's been here three years. Okay. This guy was a first round pick a couple well, last year in real life. Ooh. There, three, six, three. That's what we were hoping for. There we go. He needs 12 home runs to get to 150 in his career. Oh, I couldn't hang it. He hung that slider, and I couldn't wait to stay back. All right, Luis. Nobody's on, so now your 99 contact kicks in. This 99 dropped to whatever his clutch was last time, which is in the 50s. That's going to get caught. All right, boys. A little bit of a slump here in this second two innings. Did first first two, we got guys on base. Now we haven't got anybody on since the second inning, since Contreras is double. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
I will say we're probably going to move most of my streams outside of the uh, first NCAA stream, the college football 25. That'll be a day stream, but most of the rest of them are probably going to push off and make just go to night streams from here on out. Like right around 9 p.m. Central Time. Missed it. Send him. Send him. Send him. Get in there. Come on, Contreras. Dive. Yes. Mason win with the clutch double to make this a 1-1 game. Bruise lose. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. All right. Now if Walker can find some grass. And don't think you're finding anybody here that's going to give me five bucks for Wendy's, man. Probably can't even get an order of fries for five dollars. Assholes. Okay, well, you know. Get the fuck out of my joint. Adios, motherfucker. <laughs> Your first message was to beg for money and then call us assholes because we want to give you five bucks. Adios, motherfucker. Learn some fucking manners. Here, that would be helpful. There we go, we got that call. These three batters are probably their best three out of the entire lineup. Come on, Battle, get over there. There we go. Three easy flies, and we're out of this inning. Don't just swing the swing. Mm, good pitch. Bottom fell out of that one. The Cardinals are worth $438 million. I would like to differ. I think they're worth more than that. Try to just foul that off. So I've been doing some other franchises off camera. I have one that I need to show you guys. I was doing the uh, Angels. And uh, I was like in year four. So I already had three full drafts of a lot of starting pitchers. So they have their, their lower levels double-A AA and triple-A full of good young starting pitchers, so I did not want to draft five more pitchers. So I got rid of my pitching scout, and I went with two hitting scouts and one guy for discovery. So I scouted no pitchers in this whole draft. And normally, a ton of pitchers go in the first round. 
you know, like you might have a handful of really good hitters that go at the top, but usually it's a lot of pitchers throughout the rest of the first round. And I don't know if it, the AI is cheating and realizing, hey, he's trying to go get hitters, but there was only five starting pitchers that went in the first 19 picks. Like eight in the entire first round. So, what's up, Batten? How you doing, man? Welcome in. So all those those uh, hitters I discovered all got picked early because uh, the CPU cheats. <laughs> it was the weirdest draft. I was like, really? You're going to do nothing but draft hitters because all I did was scout hitters? Is this how this is going to work? It's opening day, Batten. Very first game of year four, so... Not too far into it. That's foul. <clears throat> so, yeah, I've been uh, out of it for almost two weeks. I did some college football. But then I got sick, and I was, I was just a mess for about a week. Still hanging on to my sinuses. And in the meantime, I've been working on getting a full-time job and redoing my entire resume on LinkedIn and all that good stuff, so. Free agent signings? Um, no. Um, look, the lineup is still the same. Um, over on the right, all we did was bring Henry Davis back up to the majors. Brought up rookies Thomas Sujazi and Victor Scott. Uh, we traded for Yuki Matsui, so now we have two stud lefties in the pen. So our bullpen is very solid. Very, very solid. We've got about five guys that could close. Um, but we didn't make any big free agent signings. Um, we wanted to get some of these young guys up and save some money because we're going to have to pay Jordan Walker and Nolan Gorman pretty soon. Um, maybe Donovan and Newt Barr as well. So I want to save a little bit of money. But I will tell you one thing. We get into next season, um, there is a possibility, especially if we don't keep Newt Barr. Say we trade Newt Barr away and get a, uh, a right-handed bat in the outfield to replace him. You might see me trade for uh, Devers because I fucking rake with Devers. And he makes about the same amount of money as Arenado. He's younger. He's got just as good or better power. His fielding's lower, but yeah, whatever. But that is one one very distinct possibility at the end of this season. Or if uh, Arenado gets hurt and he's out for you know two or three months, and our rookie Sajazi's not cutting it, uh, you might see me go ahead and trade for Devers this year, but. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see how the season plays out first. There we go. Keep swinging at that garbage. This did. Come on, Gifo. Get there. Get there. Yes. So, no, we, we did not go crazy with free agents in the offseason on purpose. Yep. We're playing better, and while as a fan, yeah, that's great. It's not going to get us to replace our GM and manager, that which both need to go away. So, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. Happy that we're playing well, not happy that we're playing well. <laughs> we still have enough pitching. Our pitching is still ass. And all of our setup relievers are getting gassed because they're having to pitch so much that by the time we get to August and September, they're just going to be a ghost of their former selves. Come on. So, let's see. Curveball, okay. Let's see if he wants to chase us. Nope. We walked him twice. No. 
Well, Nunez last time. This guy. Get there, Walker. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Yes. All right. Pitch around that mess. Yeah, you guys, your Brewers are playing well, and Chirillo is finally warming up. He's been struggling mightily for a while. How soon before Devin Williams gets back? Oh, my younger son missed playing with him by one year in high school. There we go. I'll take that little blooper after the All-Star break. Yeah, that'll greatly help. As long as his back's cool, it'll help uh, help your bullpen down the stretch. He's the uh, same age as my older son. They played together when they were really young. They played against each other when they were really, really young. All right, Nolan. There we go. All right, we got him out. He only threw 60-something pitches. He didn't even get tired. DJ Hers. Staying with the lefty. That's... Go, 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 go. Go. God damn. Should have been a run, but because he did that little... Hop in the air and missed it. We ended up with just a single when it should have been a double. I didn't want to get run my guys into an out. All right, we'll be patient here. Bases loaded, nobody out. Contreras already has a double here. Ah, tardy. It's hardy on a fastball. It's only 92. Come on. What's up, Pepsi? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. I have been sick. That's why you haven't seen me. A nasty head cold and it's still hanging around. Summer colds suck, man. But outside of that, I've been doing great. Been taking a break from the game. Had to finish off my uh, previous season for... Uh, Louisiana Raging Cajuns and got their third straight natty. And I think I'm done playing that game on stream. I don't think you're going to see me play that game on, on stream. Again, I think we're going to wait for the new game to come out and we'll stream that. There we go. Sack fly in an RBI. So we've got two and a half weeks before that comes out and I'll stream. The day that game goes live, I'll be live myself. Yeah, it's just a regular head cold. Yeah, I'm I batten. You know, I don't like all these luff releases about the sights and the sounds and the presentation. I don't give a fuck. All I care about is how's Dynasty gonna work and what's the gameplay look like. Specifically the gameplay. Because if it doesn't play well. I'm just going to sim and I'm not going to play. What a pitch. So the rest of this is just noise. I don't care. I need them to give us gameplay. Real gameplay. Not beta bullshit. I hope it does kick Madden's ass. Back in the day when they were both competing against each other, it did every single year I think you're gonna if that game comes out and it's really really good no one's gonna be playing Madden except the hardcore mutt people <laughs> especially if the gameplay for college football is head and shoulders better they'll just be like yeah fuck Madden Let 
me show you something. Let me download this first. Give me one second. I got to go to my Twitter account. If you guys know a guy named Stoner Gamer, he, uh, he has his own NCAA team builder series with Taco Bell. He's got, he's got Taco Bell. And, um, give me one second. I need to download. He did some, some uh, concept art for uniforms for me. Um, based on a logo that I sent him and colors. And, uh, so now we got to wait for, give me a second here. Give me one second. There, there. Okay. All right, I'll pull it up on the screen here. One sec. All right, so my uh, team builder team that I'm going to make for college football is the you know, Memphis Tigers used to be the Memphis State Tigers, and they dropped the state. So I'm going to resurrect Memphis State, but in, in uh, so it'll be a, a separate school. And they're the Memphis State Pharaohs. And so he, I, I've got blue, orange, white, and black uniforms. So this is the alternate all blacks with the eye of Ra on the side of the helmet. And that's the uniform for that one and then this is the blue and the orange he made that one for me this is a concept uniform here's the different color blue here's a dark blue with the uh, orange helmet yeah I need them to get team builder released so we can go in and try and replicate this somewhat here's another one that's got all three colors on it. Um, where is... Here's one. Let me show you the... Uh, here's, here's the logo. And then I've got... Another one that has a slightly different word mark to it. So, yeah, so that's my, uh, that's my team builder team I'm going to make. We have a lot of things we can do. Um, you can use the little scarab beetle and have that be like around the neck, kind of like how TCU does that with the horn frog, the horns from the frog or up the side of the leg, or on the, there's a lot of stuff. So it all depends on what they allow us to do within Team Builder. So I saw something the other day that said they may, they may release that on July 1st. I hope they do. They released Team Builder on, on the 1st. That would give us two weeks to uh, mess around and get stuff ready. That's... <clears throat> need to get him through this inning. So, <sighs> he's getting a little carried away here. Two hard hits. It's a website. They used to have a team builder website back in the day. So you go in there and set up your all your stuff for your team, including uh, all the ratings for your players because you have to set up a whole roster, the initial starting roster. So we'll see what they allow us this time. It's 
Trying to give him a chase. We'll go change up low, cut her high. there there we go pitched out of that jam so he's done he got his six innings in <coughs> all right feels weird to have an Arnauto batting ninth but he uh, does not have the best contact against Lee that 52 contact against lefties so I would start Sajazi instead of him, the rookie, but I wanted Arnato to start opening day. Could be tardy. It says it was good, but we were under. Felt like I was tardy. <coughs> oh, we got one! go first home run of the year yeah so when they release that uh, website they'll they'll post something I'm sure on Twitter maybe they'll do a, a dive on that and show us how to use everything <clears throat> but it'd be nice if they could uh, get that released way before the game goes live so we can get everything ready to go on day one Runs on eight hits. We stranded five. There you go. Line drive. Tommy loves batting against lefties. Edmund got boosted to an A potential in his early 30s after last season. Is that going to get down? No. Yeah, I only bought the uh, deluxe version. I did not buy the bundle with Madden because I have no interest in playing Madden. Because Madden sucks. And if the new game's good, I won't be playing Madden anyway. So. No desire to play Madden. I'm going to try to golf that. <laughs> so. What I'll probably do, I bought the digital version, so what I'll probably do on the college football game is wait until it goes on sale, like, next summer, and go get a hard copy of it. Come on, be patient, man. I want to make sure I got my early access, but I'll get a hard copy for down the road and, and just leave it unopened. Come on, Josh, hustle. He's out. He am slow. All right, Nolan G. Nolan A already homered. Trying to hit that to left field, but I got too much. Even though I got down, went down and got it, I pulled it too much. Off. Golf out of here. All right, new pitcher. Three righties. Let's see. That's Sui's later. Sandlin or Cano? Let's go Sandlin. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the now to seven. Number fifty two. Nick. There we go.
Now we can go fast. See Hopper to win. Good throw. Sit down. <laughs> I don't know if you guys even go to movies anymore. Is everybody streams? We stream movies. I watched uh, Furiosa last night. I didn't go to the theater. I watched it online for free. It wasn't bad. A little bit long, but it wasn't bad. I mean, it was two hours. I don't mind even a three-hour movie, but it felt long. <clears throat> yeah, the Yanks, yeah, check it out. I have a website where I can watch all that shit for free. Not paying ten dollars a ticket. Screw that. That's a ball. One ball, two strikes, I'm certainly not gonna go watch it in a the theater. A bunch of loud people can't get off their phones, can't stop talking, can't stop eating loudly. <laughs> I'll just sit here and watch it at my desk. <laughs> Got this new fiber optic cable that's 500 megabits a second upload and download, so I can oh, I can uh, watch it in full HD and it's not laggy at all. Yeah, let's try to foul that off. <clears throat> all right, one down. Come on, Wilson. Double a walk and a sack fly. Oh. Man, it was tardy. On a 90 mile an hour fastball, I was late. Game's cruising right along. Tried to foul that off. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Maybe they... Here, let me address that. So maybe, just maybe, MLB is working on a next-gen only version. So they're putting all their time towards getting the next iteration of it working, working great, and they don't need to waste a whole lot of time with this year's version, that's my theory that they're they're trying to get it to be next gen only, and they're just gonna throw some stuff out there this year and not kill themselves. But I I see I don't play Diamond Dynasty to play against other people at all. I never play against people online. I just play to collect the cards because I used to collect cards as a kid. So I just play CPU games. The lag sucks, the bunt cheesers suck, the, it's just no fun, I, I do not find it fun. I used to play, is that over his head? It's gone, into the bullpen, there we go, Mason win. I used to play Battle Royale a lot, now I don't play any of it. Alright, he's got an RBI double and a solo home run. <clears throat> See, Mr. Hurricane, you let this guy develop, he develops into a really good player, but you can't bench his ass. <laughs> All right, Jordan. 
0 for 3. Now they got a righty in. And you crush righties. Ooh, that might be in the bullpen too. Back to the track, to the wall. One hop over. It's a double. <clears throat> Yeah, well, it's not MLB's job to provide them with stuff to stream with, right? They make no money. They make no money off those guys streaming their content. Now, you know, the only way they make money is off people buying stubs, right? So, I can see where they're like, yeah, it's not my job to provide you with content. <laughs> but, it's kind of like... Madden, but you know, like the only thing I can think is they're working on the new version and they want to put more effort to getting that ready to go next year. If that's not the case, then they have no reason to uh, what is that to be so lazy? <clears throat> All right, got an extra run. Mason win, Apo Taco. Bullpen. Hey, let's bring in the new guy, Yuki Matsui. He's got a nice quick motion, too. Yeah, I think the college football game is all next gen, so. It's probably going to be the situation for Madden. You would think Madden has to go there at some point. And MLB has to go there. It holds back all of their uh, their graphics and other stuff. Got him. Easy fly ball. Barely has to move. Two down. Yeah, I don't even turn on my PS4 anymore. I have my PS3 right here on the table and a PS5 right next to it because we still play NCAA 14 for the uh, NWO head-to-head -head user league. So once the new game comes out and we determine that it's got good gameplay we can stop playing NCA 14 then I'll move that over by my PS5 underneath my big TV get it off my desk there we go that was an easy inning I'm gonna bring in Victor Scott to play some outfield yeah after this inning <laughs> Probably bring him in for Donovan. Donnie gets on base. I'll run with Scott so we can try and steal. There we go. Drop, drop. Nope. All right, Josh. You can always run for Josh and move Walker to first base. Or you can just hit it over the board and it doesn't matter. <laughs> Adios, Pelota! Woo! off the end of the bat. All right, Nolan. We've uh, took us a while to get on the board, but then once we got on the board, we scored almost every inning. All right. Come on. All right. Let's get Victor Scott in the game. Donovan's not too bad. Edmund's not too bad. Kifo. You know what? 
Let's bring in Scott for him. And we'll switch these two. That'll give us a gold glove at second base. And we'll bring in Lars to play right field. And bring in a new pitcher. Let's bring in uh, Mason Miller. There we go, one down. <sighs> Dynasty, I'm going to, the very first one I'm going to do is Mizzou. So I'll do my school, because that's the first one that I, I streamed on Twitch was a Mizzou Dynasty. So we'll do Mizzou, and I'm going to do a team builder one with Memphis State. Um, I'm not sure if Memphis State's going to be a stream one or if we're going to... And that's going to be Eddie. Um, or if I'll do Memphis State just for, like, YouTube and just record record the games individually and send them over to YouTube and, and do a series over there. Depends on what I'm doing work-wise. Got him. There we go. Bounce back after that home run. this guy. They're going to throw him another fastball. There we go, Victor. Get in there and get your first chance of the season. There we go. Cardinals win. And that's a winner! That's a winner! <clears throat> now we got to go fix... Valdez's number because he doesn't wear a 60. I don't know why he's flipped from 59 to 60. All right. Donovan went 0 for 5. He's the only guy in the lineup that batted that didn't get a hit. Arenado win and Naylor with homers. Valdez, six innings, one run, five hits, two walks, five Ks. Bullpen did great except for one pitch by Miller. Opening day win. So now we're going to sim until... This following Wednesday, we have a home game against the Indians, and that's going to be Chris Cutliff, our rookie number five pitcher right here. This is his Major League debut, so I'm going to player lock on him and just pitch that game. So let me go find out why Valdez is number 60. He wears 59. Who else has 59? Why would he lose his number? Oh, Jojo. Jojo's not 59. What's Jojo's number? <laughs> Fucking spill my coffee. Luckily, it wasn't on the keyboard. It was just on the table.
JoJo wears 59. Well, sorry. I'm gonna wear 59 this year. Who else has 59? Why is it jacking them up? There we go. All right, he's back. So let me save this. <coughs> Badgers, we've got uh, Coach Brousseau in our NWL league. He's a Wisconsin fan. That's his team that he plays with in our league. Almost done with our last season of that in CAA 14. Got four user games left. Waiting on Specta to get those two. He's got left to play. Um, let's see. Yeah, fix that. So, all right. Tanner Bybee and Josiah Gray, straight sim. And we lose 11 to 9. Not good. Jordan Walker with a home run. Everybody but Naylor had a hit. Bybee got lit up. Five walks, four hits. Jeez. It was not a good game all the way around. Gave up three home runs. Neither starting pitcher pitched worth a crap. Wow. All right, do we get the series win? Yes. Bueller over Gore. Josh Naylor, two more home runs. Bueller pitched well. JoJo finished it off. Brewers are in first, a half game ahead of the Cardinals and Cubs. All right, home opener. Andrew Painter, rookie of the year last year. Remember that, right? There he is, 2026 rookie of the year. 15 and 7 with a 379. All right, how's he do? Simming this year. Boom. A three to one win. Home run by Donovan. Five innings, seven hits, three walks, eight strikeouts. So he threw a lot of pitches. Bullpen did their job. Romano gets his first save of the year. All right, let's save this again and we'll get into the major league debut for Chris Cutliffe. Young left handed starting pitcher that we drafted in our very first draft. It's Hunter Gaddis. All right, player lock. Good, good, good. Quan Freeman, Ramirez, Noel, Carlson, Jimenez, Nino. Yeah, it's pretty much the same team they have. They have Nate, they have uh, Carlson instead of Josh Naylor because of that trade. But looks like they traded away Manzardo. Cleveland's 0-4. There's our boy, Chris Cutliffe, making his Major League debut. Boys, here we go. First pitch is a strike. Get over there. Easy catch, one down. Story line for us today. He's making his oh, debut awesome. and hoping to carve out a 
valuable role in the mound in this ball club. One down, base is empty. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. At this point, it doesn't matter if you're a first-rounder or an undrafted free agent. All that matters once you reach this level is producing. Can you help your team get better? It's a big question. That said, you don't want to put too much pressure on your debut. I hope he's taking time Oof, to enjoy late swing. experience today. Fouls it off, still one and two. Ground ball is short. Scoop and throw. Two down. Good job, win. Can he get there in time? Go, Newt. Nope. Got him. First MLB strikeout. <laughs> yeah, I get tired of hearing the same stuff on these commentators. That's why... I I mute them. They're still there. They're underneath me. So you can kind of hear them. But uh, look at the hair on this guy. My goodness. All right. We got two. Donovan and Gorman hit solo home runs to get us started. All right. Way to start it off, guys. This guy, Noel made his major league debut yesterday i think hit a home run his first hit was a home run There's carlson he does hit lefties well get there donnie easy fly ball thank you two down Got him. Two Ks, both into the inning. Good start. Got him. Cutler's dealing so far. Let's go, let's go. Rokio. change up get chase you seem her up and away slider down and in ground ball up the middle get that turn and throw got him two down there we go there we go This guy is crushing the ball in the minor leagues. De Los Santos. Just, he's got 15 home runs or some shit already. Got 
throw that again. Got him. Strikeout to end each of the first three innings. I'll take that. Donovan with his second home run of the game. We've hit three solo homers. Fastball up and away, followed by a slider down and away. And that one is up and up. Ball is short, get their win, scoop, throw, bad throw. Well, there goes the perfect game. Got him. Third out in each of the first four innings has been a K. Gotta love it. Look at that. Arnado with a home run. Naylor hit a three run. It's eight to nothing after four. That's our first hit as he pokes that inside the bag. That's right. Start his career with four no-hit innings. I'll take that. Come on, Contreras. Catch the fucking ball. Double play. There we go. Wiped him out. Let's throw this slider down and away. See if he can chase it. Give me that call. Get there, Donnie. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Yeah. All right. Five innings, one hit allowed. There we go. That was a filthy slider. <laughs> Busted him hard inside. Pop up. 
Out number two. Yanked foul. Not where I wanted that location to be. So let's throw the curveball and get it down. Grounder to third. Throw to first. Six shutout innings. It's roped into the corner. How does he go down and take a low and away who's seen fastball? And pull it into the corner. Get there, Naylor. Get there, get there, get there. There we go. Get rid of that big bat. Win, scoop, throw. Two down. God damn. Holy missed the more. Ground ball to third. Throw to second. Seven shutout innings. Let's go. Delay on my part, but Naylor got it. Seven strikeouts. Wait a snag that Arnado and then he throws it away. Sorry, it's two outs. floater get there donnie get there get there get there yes eight shutout innings see if we can get this complete game leave us in only 85 pitches right now got the call there got him Eight strikeouts. Let's go. Dogs are losing their shit upstairs. Base hit for Ramirez. That's all right. Kept him in the park. He was pretty silent today. Strikeouts. Let's go. Ground 
ball to first. Complete game three hit shutout with nine Ks for Chris Cutliff. And that's a winner! That's a winner! Oh, yeah! There we go, boys. We might have a another Rookie of the Year candidate right here. Let's go. Chris Cutliff. Three hits shut out with nine Ks in his Major League debut. Yes. I think that will play very well. Especially since he's another lefty. <laughs> Donovan, two. We had five home runs. All right, all right, all right. As Matthew McConaughey says. <clears throat> Let's go. All right, we're four and one, half game behind the Brewers. Palante. Care about Palante. And now we have a three game home series against the Astros. Then we go on the road to the Pirates and the Yankees. Good number of road games to start the season. <laughs> All right. Once we get through these two games, then we can start scouting. So I'm going to fast sim these guys. Maybe we'll uh, player lock on this game, but I want to get through these two so we can look at the first group of rookies that we can draft possibly <laughs> we should get an extra pick at the end of the first round because painter won rookie of the year so that should give us one in the late 20s one in the early 30s which would be good we can double up right then because we're not going to get the top prospects hitting wise unless we discover one or even pitching wise drafting where we're drafting but since we made it to the final four, right? Made it to the NLCS. Um, the painter will give us an extra early pick, so that's nice. Which is is the way this game goes. We may look at uh, closers because we could target one with that second high pick. Um, get us a young guy in the system. Wouldn't be disappointed with that either. So, all right. Send that a five to four win. Gorman and Rangifo with home runs. Valdez pitched great. Cano pitched eh, not so well. Mason Miller, three Ks and two and a third. There we go. Matsui gets the win in relief in 13 innings. <coughs> All right. Bybee against JP France. And we get a six to five win. So we're six and one to start the season. Donovan, a home run. Naylor, a home run. They're both hitting tanks early in the season. My goodness. Contreras is not hitting well. Jordan's not hitting well. Everybody else is doing okay. IB pitched in. Eh. He got lit up his first game. Did better this game. Still ERA over 15. But outside of Mason Miller, the rest of the pen did their job. So, got to love it. Six and one. And we are in, now in first place, a half game ahead of the Brewers. So let me save here. And we're also going to save. I want to save right when we get to the start of our scouting. All right, so discover, discover pitchers, and we will scout pitchers international. Let's go look at the prospects. Ooh, look at that guy, he's 22. He might be a stud right off the rip. All right, so you can see we, up in the left, we picked 28 and 31, and then 66, so three picks in the top 70 
essentially two in the top 30. So if we can, we can find some uh, pitchers and hitters. We got a closer right here. That might be a possibility for the second one. Reliever, closer. All right, there's a lot of, we've already got three, three relievers right here in the first four. Do you see what I see? This is the guy we drafted, and it dropped out when we went to sign him. So somehow the game thought he didn't sign with us and put him back in the draft. What the fuck? It was... Are you kidding me? Wow. So <laughs> we picked him. Because I can show you right here. We drafted this dude last year. 76.88. And now he's 78.97. So he got better. <laughs> All right. Unreal. Well, I guess the only thing we can do is change his name after he gets drafted. <laughs> He's not going to last to us. So, yeah. That's really strange. If you didn't see it, I'll show you again. Where's the Where's the draft? must have yeah here nope that's that's the angels i lost there's cologne i have it i had it on the thumbnail for that episode but you can see we clearly drafted him with pick number 25 <laughs> what the fuck this game okay Another decent center fielder. There's another reliever. Another closer. All right. That means there's going to be... This guy could be generational. Could. At 20, I kind of doubt it, though. There's another reliever and another closer. All right. So there's going to be a whole lot of hitters go early than earlier than they should. So there's another reliever. Another closer. Oh, All right. We're going to have to discover hitters if we want hitters in this draft. Another reliever. 28 is where we're picking. Which would be this guy. He's terrible. Another closer. Let's scout Nathaniel Kang, because he could be there. Could be there. This is from last one, and this will go left. Yeah, they do. And oh, here, Batten, check this out. So I was doing an Angels one. I got four years in, and I'm like, I do not need five more starting pitchers in my minor leagues. I've got plenty of pitchers in my minor leagues to develop. I need some hitters. So I got rid of my pitcher scout, and I had two hitter scouts, plus my discovery scout, right? So I only discovered hitters. I didn't go after any pitchers in discovery or scouting. And we went after, see, as many hitters as we could find. <clears throat> so that's what I did, right? And then look at this draft. Let me uh, turn off my webcam for a second. Right fielder, pitcher, left, center, center, second, catcher, center, starting pitcher, first, catcher, right, pitcher. Right field, pitcher. First base, pitcher. Right, right, pitcher. Second. So they just started loading up on all the hitters in the first half of the draft. And then they got pitchers in the, in the bottom, I guess, fourth of the first round. But since I scouted nothing but hitters, they took nothing but hitters at the top of the draft. And the guy I ended up taking was not that good any, either way. So I, I purposely didn't scout any pitching 
did nothing but hitters for the entire 14 weeks, discovered hitters for 14 weeks, scouted hitters for 14 weeks, and the draft decides, we're not going to take any pitchers either. We're going to take all the, the hitters you found, and uh, we're going to take them early. So, yeah. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? Why are you taking all of my guys I discovered? Yeah. So... <laughs> can see on the screen there it still has this 21st and starting pitching so we still could use more starting pitchers so i won't shy away from going after pitchers um so there's not a lot of high level top of the draft starting pitching because they i mean is that one two three four five six seven seven there's only seven starting pitchers that go before our first pick so we're gonna have to discover pitchers if we want pitchers. And I don't I don't mind that. That's okay. I don't mind that. But there are so many relievers and so many closers. There's no catchers after that first guy. Might be some first baseman down the road. There's one second baseman there, Dean Montanez. Viegas is gonna be gone. This one might be okay, Jeff Webb. He might be okay, too. He's overrated. His, his overall is going to be higher than his potential. This guy could be something. He could be, he could be. He's probably overrated, but we'll scout him because he's close to our pick. This guy, don't like that. 39 to 73, he could be anywhere in that range. This guy wouldn't be bad. He's all speed and glove, though. Another overrated player. This guy, his potential is not going to be much higher than his overall. Same thing with him. It's just a power bat there, Curtis Reigns. These two guys aren't bad, but they're early. We'll never get to them. He's not too bad. Stephen Kwan, as opposed to Stephen Kwan. <laughs> well, we would definitely have to change his name. Might change his name to Stephen Pham for that fantastic duo. All right, so we're going to have to discover both hitters and pitchers, which is okay. It's fine. Kang's probably going to go before we ever get to him, so... Still got to scout him. It'll only take one week to get him scouted. So, wow. I can't believe it put our guy back in the draft. How stupid is that? We draft him, and then we can't sign him, and it sends him back into the draft. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's play a lock on a hitter. What do you got down there? We'll look at some more of the minor leaguers as we get into the season, but I want to play more with the MLB guys. Let's see. Player lock. Let's go with Gorman. God, 355. Look at these averages. Walker's struggling. Maybe we'll go with Walker and try and get him going. Let's go with Jordan Walker. Is he at DH? Yeah. Yeah. We don't have to play defense. It's like they've got Rowdy Telez playing first, but everything else for the Astros is normal. Put my camera back on. I uh, can't believe they put our first-round pick back in the draft after we tried to sign him. Wouldn't even let us sign him. <laughs> All right, Walker. Two men down, two out, bottom of one. Gonna get to that. Got a little too much on the uh, on the label that time. All right, two nothing Cardinals. One on, one out. Oops. 
real life, we need this guy to get his shit together and get back up to the majors and produce. We're getting nothing out of Arnado Goldschmidt. Here we go, base hit. Get that average up. Next uh, pitching player lock or full game we do will probably go with Tanner Bybee and try and get him going. Look how big Walker is next to Altuve. My goodness, that's like me standing next to my wife. <laughs> Let's wait till he gets to the bag. Look at this. That is, that's the height difference between me and my wife. It's hilarious. <laughs> Giolito in relief? There we go. Line drive, base hit up the middle. It was a rope. Got to get him going. Oh, he throws it away. And of course, I can't see where the ball goes because it's doing the slide animation. And it's all right. Two on, nobody out. Let's go, Lars. It's got to be the shoes. There's a rope to right. Caught. Tag up and go to third. All right. Now, as long as we don't hit into a double play, get this ball in the air to the outfield, we'll... Make it a 4 nothing game. Come on, Mason. Go yard, Mason. Let me walk home. Deep fly ball to the left. Should be enough. There we go. 4 to nothing, Cardinals. Another ribby for Mason. All right, now it's five to three after a two-run homer by Tucker after an Altuve solo shot. Ah, they back. Let's go. Stay back. Stay on the inside half. Don't reach. Let that shit away on the outside go away. Ah, and then we chase it. I just said, don't chase it. Drop, drop, drop. There we go. Fisted into right for my third hit of the day. Two on, nobody out. Let's go, Nolan. Put it in the bullpen. Let's go. Oh, line drive, and it's a double play. Should have let the CPU run for me. All right, base is loaded and one out. Ryan Presley. Three run lead. Ooh, try to pull that. Strikeout's better than a double play here. Fly ball should get us guy home. Let's see. Tag. There goes Tommy. No throw. Four run lead. Let's go. Les hits a home run. Hey, that uh, that RBI made the difference. Tucker, Altuve, and Telez with home runs. No home runs for us. Bueller pitched okay. Cano got lit up. He's having a rough start. Romano comes in, though, gets the save. I think Romano gave up the home run. Oh. All right. One loss on the year. We lost that one, eleven to nine. All right, Painter and Bailey Falter, and we win eleven to three. Edmund Gorman and win with home runs. 
Painters 2 and 0. Oh. Good job, good job. Skeens against Cutleft. Now let's see how Cutleft does in the sim. And we lose 6 5. Two home runs in that game. Yeah, he got beat up a little bit in the sim. Even Skeens, three runs, but he three hits, three walks, 10 strikeouts. It's only our second loss of the year. Keller against Fromber. Let's play our lock on. Nolan Gorman this time. All right, now Walker's up to 275, so Newt Bar's 250 is our lowest batting average in the order, so that turned, turned Walker around. Nice pitch. I think that was going outside. <clears throat> wow. That snapped. That was looked like it was going right down the middle. It just <clears throat> took a left turn. Almost hit me in the ankles. All right, down one nothing. Sorry, we're going to jump on early fastballs and not have to face that slurve. It's a filthy pitch. It's got a lot of break. All right, now we got to expect him to throw that pitch. It's going to look inside. Ooh, blows four. Seeming right by me. Okay. Now we're down 2 nothing. Swing at a ball, almost hit me. And we lose. Two nothing. Scattered four hits. Valdez pitched well, takes the loss. All right, offense, don't get cold now. <coughs> These are all division games. All right, Bybee and Eflin. He bounced back with an 8-6 win. Naylor and Herrera with home runs. Scott has three hits. Bybee still giving up a lot of runs. ERA down to 12. What's up, human being? Welcome in. All right, let's save this. All right, still got a one-game lead on the Brewers, game and a half on the Cubs. Nestor against Bueller. Let's uh, player lock this. I got to get a righty, right? Go Mason win. Now everybody's hitting 278 or higher on the team. So we are definitely hitting the ball well to start the season. Live from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Inter <laughs> Next team, Nestor. All right, Mason. One out here in a second. Yeah. Swinging early. Chasing. All right, no score, man on second, one out. 
this ball to right side. Come on. Oh, I jumped at that pitch. Got to stay back. Way early, and I pushed my PCI up. I don't know if that's going to be deep enough to get him to third base. Nope. All right. 2-1 lead here in the sixth. Walker with a two-run shot. Sosa with a triple. Oh, I am just not being patient at all. Fuck. All right. Come on, boys. You got to bail me out. Pitching has to do well. Still 2-1 in the ninth. Do not know who McKinley Moore is. Drop. Give me a cheap single. There we go. Get him in scoring position with less than two outs. Let's go, Nolan. He's going to be out because he's so damn slow. Oh, he beat it out. Holy crap. All right. Let's go, Tommy. Base hit. Let me get my wheels going. Not going to score. All right, man, that's corners and two down. Need a big hit here from Donovan. Come on, Donnie, let's go. What's up, tight spot? How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Nope, that's going to be three outs. No, he's off the bag. All right, bad throw. Gives us an insurance run. All right, well, and we got the dub. Jordan Walker with a home run. Uh, Matronics, yeah, it's automatically in the game. It's coded in the game. There's nothing I can do about it. It's really kind of stupid. Euler pitched great. Bullpen did their job. Let me check win. I'll go and look at his and edit player and see if it shows up on his equipment. All right, we're 10 and 3, so tight spot. Check this out. So opening day, beat Washington on the road. We uh, played this whole game. Valdez pitched great. Naylor win and Arenado went deep. And then we player locked on this game with our newest rookie pitcher, Chris Cutliff, our number one pick in the our very first draft. We hit five home runs in that game, but all I did was pitch. He threw a three-hit shutout with nine strikeouts. So let me go look at Mason Wynn and see if uh, I lose that glove. Equipment. Sleeves, batting gloves, batting gear. Yeah. You can take it off. I think. Maybe not. Yeah, you can take it off. So, yeah, you, you can remove it. At least, at least make it the color of the team. So, yeah, you can, you can take that off if you want. It's like a goddamn oven mitt, right? So let's sim this game. Andrew Painter, the rookie of the year from last year, starting out hot again. We lose five to three. Let's see if that was him or the bullpen. Walker with a home run. Scott with a steal. Painter, eh. Mason Miller, eh. All right, we're 10 and four. We got a one game lead on the Brewers, and let's check out the scouting. So we got this guy. 
scouted. He should be a B potential in the low 70s. Daniel Kang. But since he dropped to 19, and as we looked at this with reliever, closer, closer, reliever, closer, closer, reliever, all the another closer reliever, all these guys in the top 20, he'll probably drop down into the top 10. So we're not likely going to get Kang. Uh, we did discover four more pitchers. So Marmaleo, Alexi Marmaleo, not bad, 23 years old. If he comes in a B potential in the 70s, I would take that. Great stamina, velocity. Got two pitches at 199 miles an hour. Not bad. Discovered this guy. No strikeouts per night. No. So, okay. Let's go find another hitter. Let's check out Lionel Gibbons. He's right around our first pick. Maybe not. Let me look. Let me look. There, left fielders. This shortstop sucks. He's overrated. He might not be that. Let's check out Robert Benjamin. And we'll leave those guys alone. And there we go. All right. And Cutliff will sim his next game. And we win 9-3. Home run by Contreras. Cutliff, three runs in six innings. So he's 2-0 oh with a 3-6-6. Six, six. I'll take that. Those batting averages. So Jay-Z's just backing up. Looks like Edmund at 258 is our lowest batting average. Let's go look. So we're 11 and 4. The Dodgers are 15 and 1, guys. <laughs> right. Wow. 15 and 1. Okay. So Arnado's hitting 344. Gorman 356. Walker, Naylor, Donovan. When, yeah, Evans, our lowest at 258. Gifo, 370. Victor Scott, 400. Herrera, 385. Don't know why Herrera is up, why we got three. But I know Henry Henry Davis hasn't played at all. He hasn't played at all. He's back in a catcher in right field. He's only playing against lefties. This guy. Pitchers. Walker Bueller, 3-0 with 0291. Cutliff, 2-0 with 366. Farmer, 1-1, 241. Bybee is the one that's struggling. So next game where we play a lock as a pitcher or play the whole game as a pitcher, we'll go with him. Bullpen, Miller's doing okay. Romero, great. Sandlin and Matsui are doing great. Let's go check out the Dodgers. <laughs> Seven home runs for Betts, five for Alec Bohm, four for Otani, four for Nico Horner. Sam Mongelli, 26 year old. Altman's got four. Who the hell are these guys in their uh, outfield? Otani's 4 0 with a 1 6. Yamamoto, 157. Miller, 193. They're just crying. They barely use their bullpen. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Home against Arizona. He's a lefty, so let's let's play our lock as a right handed bat. No, he's a lefty. Let's Well. We already did this too. Let's do Contreras. Arenado should not be batting. Should be. Should be to JC, but I'm not going to mess with Arenado. Dude's hitting 344, so. <clears throat> 
We've got baseball on the show. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, Frommer, back to your real number. Down one nothing here in the second. Arena with a homer. Should have uh, substituted Davis in a catcher. That's all right. Ooh, nice change up. All right, Naylor ties it with a solo shot, so let's get this going here with two outs. Nope, pop out. Romero wasn't 59 last year. I don't know why it changed him. It changed him, and that changed Valdez, so whatever. That's a high fly ball to the gap. Can I get there? On his horse? Yes, on the warning track. Wow. And a six run sixth inning. Don't think we're going to come back with two outs here tonight. All right. One bad inning and we get blown out. Zach Thompson didn't help his cause. All right. Well, it's all right. We're still 11 and 5. So, it should keep us in first place. All right. Bybee and Mats. <laughs> Mats is facing his old team. So, Bybee, Bueller. Painter, Cutliff. So Bybee would be here. Bybee would be here. And then there. So maybe we pitch this game with Bybee against the Cubs as our second game, and we'll just sim the rest. All right. Search, search going for players or job? Job, I got seven or eight. I just need to get my LinkedIn profile updated, and then we can start applying. Let's see. Well, look at that. A five-hit shutout by Bybee. Home run by Walker. There we go. Ha almost have the ZRA. Got to love that. And Bueller against Gallon. We take the series, even though he gave up four home runs. Walker and Contreras homered. All these minor league guys. So now we have a three and a half game lead in the division. What are the Dodgers doing? 18 and two guys. The Dodgers have scored 124 game, 100, 124 runs in 20 games. They're averaging six, six runs a game. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. 13 and 0 at home. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. On the road, let's play a lock against Hunter Green. Let's go, Donovan. Look at all those guys. We have 328, 328, 338, 328, 324. We are just crushing the ball. And we're still not scoring as many runs as. As, the, as the Pujols used to call them, the Doyers. Yeah, LinkedIn needs to get updated next. 
I had to uh, redo my whole resume and get it all set up in a new job search since it's a job that I haven't done before. I'm changing career path. So I need to uh, accentuate what I've learned so far for QuickBooks and basic accounting principles. So once I get my first job doing books, then it'll be much easier to uh, do it going forward. And wife's looking for a job too. She had a phone interview on Tuesday. So wait to hear back on that. Ah, is it gonna drop? Nope. Too much speed. So yeah, she's getting severance. She's still getting her regular pay to the middle of July, and then she'll get severance that'll run through middle of October basically. Make it over his head. Now, even if I don't find, all right, we're up two to one. If I don't find something right away, I've got refing that kicks in in uh, September and October. So that's 150 bucks every time I go ref, whether it's high school or college. So that runs about. Average is out to be like 50 bucks an hour, so I can't beat that for part time stuff. Get down, get down, drop. All right, keep that alive with two, with one out here in the fourth. And come on, Josh, find a gap, dude, find a gap. All right, that'll make it first and third with two outs. <clears throat> Come on, Gorman. Launch one. It's a rocket into the gap. Down, sorry, down the line. Hold us at third. And you only got a single out of it. That was great defense to keep that to a single. Got a run out of it, though, so now it's three to one. Come on, Jaywalk. You love righties. And it's not going to be anything but a lazy fly ball. All right, got to run. Extend the lead. Let's go. <laughs> and now we're down six to three. Gapper? Nope, he's going to get there. Get some runs back. Oh. High runs on duck, though. Keep the setting going. This guy, Brian Abreu, is great if you want to go get someone that's not a closer and turn him into a closer. Well, we got him to third, but that's not the tying run, so... And we lose. Painter got lit up. <coughs> More fast sim. Lose seven to two. See how Cutliff did. Three hits for Contreras. Five runs in five innings. So ZRA is over four. It's getting beat up a little bit in the sim. And that's because uh, if you look at his ratings, he has great hits per nine, but his pitching clutch is not great. And his per nines are low. Need to get all of that into the 60s. So... He's going to be up or down. He's going to be great when we pitch with him. And we're just going to have to deal with. Look at Tink Hintz down at AAA. Three, I'm sorry, four starts. He's 3-0. and Only 13 hits, 7 walks, and 27 innings with 30 strikeouts. 
So if Bybee doesn't get his shit straightened out, Takoa Roby, eight year eight, you Jerpy, two nineteen's not bad. He's not bad. Sellers is okay. Ruth, no. Corona, not bad. Davis is still not bad at. All right, I'm going to send him to the minors so he can play every day. And who are we going to bring up? There's our first round pick. Hitting 250. Burleson. Let's bring up Alec. Put Homer at AAA. All right. Give us an extra bat. You can play some first base and outfield. Let Davis start down at Triple A. Yeah, Pajas is better defensively. He can play some right field. All right. All right, scouting. So he went down. See if he pops back up. We discovered four more pitchers. It's going to have good speed, good defense. Batting's going to be eh. Plus it's on the higher end. So we'll do another week with him and see. All right, Reds. Fromber against Castro, who was drafted, I think, in that first draft as well. Straight sim. And we win 5-1. to one. Mason Wynn and Arenado with home runs. Complete game for Valdez. Gets his ERA to 275. And we have a two and a half game lead. Bybee's. Bybee's the one, so we need to uh, we definitely need to play a lock on Bybee and try and fix his uh, pitching. If you want him to do better in the sim, sometimes you need to jump in and play as them. Which is what we're going to do right now against the Cubs and Taj Bradley. We're going to play uh, the full game. We're not going to play a lock. We're going to play the full game. Cubs, Cubs, City Connect. Just go with that, and we will go with. Let's go with these 1942s. Clear skies. He's right handed, right? So Arnado's fine. Tommy's cold. You know what? Let's let's play Scott over Tommy. See how he does at the top of the order. <clears throat> Give him a day off. Mason, you're just gonna stay in there and play. So here we go. All right. <coughs> Got Andrew Vaughn at first. Tyler Stevenson catching. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show. 
Ivy hasn't grown in yet. That's why it looks like snow on the wall out there. Right, Victor. Our first time batting with Victor. And they want to put it right down the middle, and we're just going to hit a rope to right field. Hard to take a pitch right down the pipe. All right, Brendan. He does shadows to move. It's a little bit of a little bit of a glare. It makes it a little bit difficult to uh, pick up spin. So you get to about the third or fourth inning, it'll be good. The sun will be down and lights will be on. Oh, gotta stay back. 110 mile an hour foul ball. Ooh, good pitch. I'd argue that was a good pitch. All right, Tanner. You gotta fix your shit, dude. Got him. There we go. Good start. Good start. Good start. You guys that follow other sports, I know the NBA had their first round yesterday, the day before. Um, NHL has their first round of the draft on Friday, the rest of the rounds on Saturday. The one I'm waiting for is the MLB draft, which won't happen until the middle of July. They moved it to the same time frame as the uh, all-star game cardinals pick seventh so looking to see what kind of prospect we get if we get smith from arkansas or his name is burns a pitcher from vanderbilt or if we get a hitter maybe nick kurtz from wake forest to drop if we're gonna take a high school guy Unlike the MLB, uh, MLB the show, the real MLB has a lot of hitters at the top of the draft. Got him. There we go. Spread out the side. All right, Nolan. No. Oh, come on. Check swings in this game are so they're broken too. Come on, Jordan. Man, I'm getting hungry. Yeah. Couldn't pull my hands in quick enough to pull it. go tomahawk that in the right get our first base runner so we can get lars going he's only hitting 239 yeah change up for those low fastball lars is going to be playing for a contract here soon if not this year He said, if I have to uh, go get a right-handed bat to play outfield, we can replace Arenado with Devers. It won't cost us a ton. 
Got him. That's four straight strikeouts to start the game. Five straight strikeouts. Now the sunshine is gone. Tried to lift that. <laughs> Come on, boys. Gonna string some hits together here. Damn it. of that way out in front all right throw that pitch on the inside part of play again good out play we can work a walk here we can get a steal and get a scoring position You do not want to put me on base. There we go. Here he goes. 99 speed, 99 steel. Safe. Bullshit. Even on a pitch out, that was bullshit. God damn it. Throw the ball. Not 
Got him. It's eight Ks. His speed way out in front of his off speed stuff. That was a protection swing. that too much. Late decision. Late, late, late. Can't do that. Got to see it. If nothing else, just take it. Come on. It's going to throw a change up here. Can it curve ball or a change up? It's going off speed. And we were way out in front instead of taking it. They even called the pitch. Still couldn't stay back. Take it. Strike out number nine. There's 10. Get through, get through, get through. Half step short. There's a hit. Nope. Get back, get back. You're too slow. Too slow to get a double. It's a shame. 
Come on, Lars. You're due. You are definitely due. I'll take that cheap hit. Computer gets enough of those. Come on, Mason. No double play. Oh. Oh. He is just killing me with this changeup. I'm so far out in front of it. Even when I know it's coming, I'm way out in front of it. Not a very disciplined AB. All right. At least now we can both get an extra lead here. Contreras. Take that. Scott's on deck, though, so we don't have a lot of power. Love Scam Likely. Scam Likely is my most popular caller. Get fair. Get fair. Oh. Ooh. I would say that's a fair ball. It was over the bag. All right, three and two. Everybody's moving. Ball four. All right, Victor. We got bases loaded. Just a little flare. Up the middle works, too. We're going to send him home, and he is safe. There we go. Two nothing lead. Come on, Donnie. Get the big boys coming up after this. If he can get on base. Oh, jammed him. It's all right. Rookie gets two RBIs. Win with the pirouette and the throw right on the bag for one out. And then he gets the easy pop up. Told you we got to get Bybee straightened out. It's only had one base runner. <laughs> there 
There we go. All right, we chase Bradley. So what's this guy? Fastball slider, curveball sinker, change. Jeez, he's got 15 pitches. There we go. Naylor goes down and ropes that into center. Man, if you want a center fielder, if you're like you're playing as a Rockies, I would trade whatever you have to trade to go get Pete Crow Armstrong because he is so goddamn fast. He chases everything down. His defense. His defense. Look at that, 98 fielding, 95 reaction with 98 speed. So he's going to track everything down. No Got to develop his hitting, but Lord, he will cover a lot of ground. Let's go, let's go. The one I can drive. Ah, change ups. Now he's got to come in. Sit dead red right in the middle. Gortman strikes out a lot. If he didn't strike out so much, I'd, like if it was Donovan, I would send this runner to stay out of double play. There's a hit. Good play to keep it out of the corner and keep it a single. All right. Two on, nobody out. Let's go, Jaywalk. You love right-handed pitching. Got him to third with less than two outs. As long as we don't hit into a double play and get this ball in the air, we should get another run. I'll take a hit. That works too. <clears throat> Come on, Lars. Came up big last time. Let's do it again. Nope, that's a rope. He's got a good arm. All right, now we can take an extra step lead. So I won't hold the guy at first with two out. Come on, Mason. You better AB this time. It's all right. We got one. Tried to double up and I hung it. There's one. There's two. Mason Wynn, dude's going to be a gold glover very soon. Oh, 
run, get there, Newt, get there, get there, get there, run, 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 run. How did he miss that ball? It's the same thing that happened to Donovan. Got him. Just too fast for that. Now let's see if we can get this stolen base that we got screwed out of last time. Slow pitch. That was in shallow right field, and he still beat it. All right, Josh. Clutch kicks in, so it's like high 90s. You just got a good pitch to hit. That'll work, but we're late. All right, could not extend the lead, that's all right. Jam shots, peanut butter and jam. hung that one. Two down. If you can get through this inning, he'll be done. Got him. Oh, come on. It's the same thing they did when we ran with Scott the first time, and they called him out. Come on, Newt Bar, get to the fucking spot. All right, Bybee's done. He's getting tired. We'll get him out. Seven shutout innings is what he needed. Lay out that shit. Let's go. No, 
Hampton. Take the walk, that's fine. Bring up Jordan Walker. He's up to 325 now. No, that's not going to be deep enough. Zero wind, which is a rarity at Wrigley. Right, no one. Three for three, dude. Hit 346. It's crazy. Let's take a shot at right field on that one. Golf that one stayed out of the double play at least. All right, Lars. Find a gap somewhere, please. It's 100 miles an hour on the top of the strike zone. Didn't know he threw that hard. Well, wow, pitch will get him in scoring position. I'll take that. Chicago's got one of the deepest backstops in the majors. Dodger Stadium used to be really deep, too, until they started expanding their seating and lower bowl. Too clutch, so if we get a ball handle, we should be able to do something with it. There right, we go. Send him. Send him. Bad throw. Gets the run home, four run lead. Grand Slam only ties it. Mm. 100 mile an hour up in the zone, followed by 84, 12, 6 in the bottom zone. It's up there. And he's going to get on first base on a wild pitch. So, hey, I'll take it. Not pretty, but effective. <coughs> New pitcher. All right. Now there's two outs, so we can take an extra step lead. That's going to drop, and that's going to score at least one run. Yep. There it is. Five nothing, boys. Tack on runs. Jam shot that we placed right inside the line. All right, Victor, let's go. That's his first two RBI of the season last time. And he's going to get his third right here. No, what a play by Swanson. My goodness. Wow. All right, bullpen time because he's gassed. Let's go see him
There we go. Got him. Struck out the side. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Go, Downey. You're 0 for 4. Got your average below 300. And it's off the end of the bat. I've had a lot of trouble with change-ups today. Wearing out that third base coach. And Jaywalk, you're over. Not anymore. Nolan, Nolan, Nolan. Let's go. Eh, didn't get it. All right, to the ninth. Get him straightened out too. Ooh, what a pitch. Mm. 
couple of hits in a row for him here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you read the ball to and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Oh my. You want to get something going. This One ball, two strikes. You get the leadoff man on. Three. Look over his shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And there's another strikeout. And those are just it's continuing to pile off. His confidence level has got to be dropped. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment. Three, six, three, game over. Tanner Bybee, seven innings, four hits, no walks, no runs, 11 Ks. We had 15 strikeouts that game. Right. Right at three hours. So we're going to sim each day for the rest of the month and uh, call it a day. But we're going to sim through. Let me go save where we're at right now. But we're going to finish off the rest of this month before we're done. So No more gameplay, though. All right, Bueller and Wicks. Naylor is out a game or two. That's fine. Six to one win. Naylor, Walker, Win, and Rengifo with home runs. Bueller's four and zero now. Painter loses. Four nothing loss. ZRA is five and a half. Yeah, sophomore slump, right? Now Peralta and Chris Cutliff are rookie. And they lose five to four. Gorman with two home runs. Cutliff, eh. Struggling a little bit. We're gonna have to go back in and pitch with him to get him straightened out too. So we split with the Cubs. We won one of three against the Reds, but two of three from the Diamondbacks and the Yankees. We swept the Astros, split with the Pirates. One, two of three from Washington, swept the two game from Cleveland. So 16 and nine. Two game lead. The Dodgers are 20 and six. <laughs> Rangers are 20 and six. Let's check out some stats. All right. Gorman leads with hits with 31. Walker's right there. Arenado. Donovan's on a cold slump. Naylor's on a cold slump. Wins up there. Contreras is okay. New bar is getting better. Victor Scott hitting 370. Pitching wise, not bad. These two guys. Bybee's ERA was 12. We lowered it to five, so not bad. Bullpen's doing their job. Can't complain. Save. Get on to the next series because we got to look at our scouting after this one. So home against Toronto. So Fromber against Barrios, and we win six to three. Naylor to Jay Z and win with homers. Fromber pitched well, ten Ks. Romano with the save. Bybee, let's see if uh, going in and usering with him helps him in the sim now, and it does as we win seven to three. Arenado with a home run. Edmund Donovan and Rangifo with steals. Bybee, two runs in six innings. 5-0 and oh on the season. Even Cano pitched well. So, hey, if you're having trouble in the sim, go in there and play. Player lock as a, as a player or a, a pitcher. All right, scouting. This guy dropped off. So we found two more pitchers. We got 30 there. So let's go. let's go look in the central. We already got 30 guys to scout for two more weeks. So we'll switch over to the central, see if we can get a jump start on that. And what can we get hitting wise? Because we're picking 28. Let's check out this catcher. If he came in, you know. B potential in the mid 60s as an 18 year old, I'd be ecstatic. Can got good discipline, decent vision, 
Power against lefties is better than his righties. He can hit a little bit. Great fielding and reactions. Arms a little eh. Like he'll have a good strength, but he just won't be accurate. Not a lot of speed. But I would take that. All right, so they're good there. Who's out here? Casey Mize is a free agent. Can you believe that? 80 overall, 29 years old. He's just sitting here. I do not need him on the team. Imagine him as a long relief pitcher. Yeah, I'm sure he wants more than a year, and he wants... Yeah, wow. That's just crazy that he's sitting out there. All right. So, do we sweep Toronto? Yes, we do. Walker Bueller. Home run by Naylor and Gorman. Bueller's 5-0. and Bybee's 5-0. and All right. Yeah, both five and zero, oh. three and two, two and three, two and two. Don't have a lot of wins and losses in our bullpen. I love that. All right, so we've got three more at home against Baltimore, and then we go on the road to Milwaukee. So. What is that? 29, 30, 31. So next stream we could do. All right, we got Bybee, Walker. That would be Painter. So we could actually pitch this game as Painter. Yeah. Pitch this game against as Painter. Come back down and Probably go to Oakland. We'll probably play at Oakland because that's my park that I made. I put them in my treehouse park in Oakland. So we'll probably play at Oakland one of these three games. So maybe we don't go to Milwaukee. Maybe we go to the White Sox. Go to the White Sox. Go to Oakland and then play at home against Milwaukee. That's what we'll do. All right, let's get this Baltimore series. They're under 500. Painter and Braxton Garrett. And we get a 10-5 win. Pounded their bullpen. We got nine runs in the eighth inning, boys. We were down 5-1. to one. We got a nine-run eighth inning. Wow. Sajazi with a home run. Painter pitched okay. What a time for a rally. Nine-run eighth inning. Okay. Cutliff, we need him to do well in the sim. And he does. About time. Um, two home runs by Gorman. Four hits, four walks, five Ks, one earned run. He's three and two. ERA just north of four. That's fine. We may end up pitching with him against the White Sox, like pitch as we play the whole game. And do we get the sweep? Fromber against Grayson Rodriguez. No. 11 to 3 got pounded. Westberg. Rutschman with home runs. Grayson shoved. Yeah, 11 hits in four innings. That was a rough start. Bullpen didn't do much better. All right. And we'll just go ahead and sim this last game. Sonny Gray, look. He's playing for Milwaukee. We let him go, and he signed with Milwaukee. And we lose 6-5. to five. Did our bullpen blow that one? Naylor, Gorman, and Wynn with home runs. Yeah, JoJo blew it. Churio with a home run. All right, so 21-11. and 11. He hit terrible. King is pitching terrible. Francisco, we got him in a trade with the... Rangers, he's hitting well. LJ Jones hitting 421. Tink Hintz, 42 strikeouts in 40 innings. Wow, it's going to be difficult to leave him the minors. Let's look at him real quick. Let's look at our major league team. So Gorman's got nine home runs. Naylor's got 11. Fromber, 
Fromber's three and three, five and oh, five and oh, three and two, two and three. These guys need to get their act together just a little bit. Yeah, these guys need to pitch more. Hmm. Maybe it's just matchups. Um, These guys are on the trade block. Luis Robert, Nolan Jones. Man, he's not playing well at all. He got hurt that year, but he's just not hitting. Thomas Stone Garrett. This dude does really well. If you want a cheap guy that really progresses and does well, kills left-handed pitching. Esty Ruiz. Yeah, we, we really don't need much at all. Our guys are all hitting well, are pitching well. We got some youth that we don't want to replace. Um, let's go down double A. Navarro's a D left fielder, but he's got that high contact vision discipline. So he's going to hit well. Drake is a guy we traded and got from the Braves when we traded Helsley that first year. Chase Davis is a prospect that the Cardinals drafted in real life. Um, so he's a real player. Uh, Sparbori, we just traded for him. He's the number one prospect. Look at that contact. He always be top of the order D, uh, DH type guy. Cabrera, that's the guy we just drafted. He should be hitting better, but he's not. He's just not simming well. This is the guy that was in the first draft, and we traded and just got him. Um, double A pitchers. Leo Cordova is only a C. Vincent is a C. Sellers is a B. Corona is an A. He's got to get his per nines up other than walks. Dice cake Tanaka. He's pitching in relief. Oh, it didn't. Hold on. There we go. Triple A. Luke and Baker. Real life, he's doing real well in the minors. This is no this is a second baseman we drafted that has that same hit tool going on. Doesn't have a lot of power. Elijah Green, we traded and got him from Washington. He's just not going up hit wise. Um, there's our first round pick and he's struggling, hitting two thirty. There you go. Henry Davis is improving. I'd rather have him in the majors, but whatever. All right, Tink Hintz is crushing. 29 hits in 46 innings. We don't have a spot for him right now. Yeah, we may have to ship out Walker Bueller next year. Mm, clear a spot. Jerpy's pitching well. He's got more than a strikeout per inning. Lindsay is a guy who's about at his potential. He's not going to get much better. We could trade him off. Roby's struggling. Kloffenstein's pitching great in relief. He's a real pitcher, real player. His overall's not great, but he pitches well in the sim. Joe Barlow's not pitching. Jeez. It's not using the setup, guys. Why? Let's flip that. For some reason, it's not using the setup guys. They're getting way less innings than the rest of these guys. Hmm. 
Okay. All right, let me save, and I think that should be it for the day, boys and girls. There we go. Two and a half game lead on the Brewers. Five on the Pirates. Six on the Reds. Eight and a half on the Cubs. 21 and 11. They're 24 and 9. So we, we're getting closer. We're only two games behind the Dodgers now. Braves are a half game behind us. Rangers are 27 and 6. What the hell's going on with the Rangers? Wyatt Langford hitting 352. That'll help. They have Schwarber. Seeger's doing Seeger things. Garcia's not doing nothing. Young's not doing much. Hoskins on the bench. Simeon's not playing. Cole Wynn is a rookie. Jacob DeGrom's pitching in relief. No, no, he's not. He's starting. My bad. This guy's pitching relief. Yeah. Win. The two rookies are pitching in relief. Okay. More than anybody else. Tanner Scott's killing us closer. <laughs> okay. All right, I think that's going to be it, boys and girls. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I know I hadn't streamed in like two weeks, but, you know, stuff, uh, sick for a week and focused on other stuff. So we'll try to do more, but I'm, gonna, I'm telling you right now, we're going to move them to the evenings. Nine o'clock Central Time is when we're going to start streaming. Not going to be doing the day streams very much. We'll do the night streams, so... Anyway, let's see who's out here. Who can we go raid... Am I following this rating? Man, Man Cave. Man Cave Hawkeye is doing NCAA. I can send you over there because he's playing in a Big Ten title game. I know it's not baseball, but Man Cave always has a good stream. So let's let's uh, get that raid going for him. And when you guys are ready, head on over there. But uh, thank you guys. Appreciate you. And uh, I'll see you over there for a little bit. And then watch your notifications both on Twitch and uh, Discord. And uh, we'll get this uh, season number four going and try and get us a World Series for the Cardinals. So anyway, you guys take care. And I will talk to you later on.